We all know airbags are designed to save lives, but sometimes they don't work the way they're supposed to. And some people are getting very seriously hurt. k 2 Zana Song is here with a team to investigation on the kind of injuries you can get from airbags and why it happens. What'd you find, Anna? Well, Stephen Alley, we're talking about accidents where the person probably could have just walked away with just a few bumps and bruises. Instead, the airbag deployed and the resulting injuries were far more serious. It's a too exclusive. I just wake up every day and it's like, what am I going to do today? It was near this intersection in southern Oregon last year that James Spacey's life reached a crossroads. James, his girlfriend Michelle, and their neighbor were headed to the store along this road just outside of Medford. Their neighbor was in the back, Michelle was at the wheel, and James in the passenger seat. There was a, uh, like a yellow jacket or a wasp on his hat in the back seat. And then it flew in her hair, and then I just remember looking at her, and like she was all, ah, just like screaming with her hands, like in her hair, like shaking her head. And the next thing I know, James is like, watch the road. And we just went into a ditch, and it didn't seem, you know, bad at all. Then I just remember waking up, and like my body was like totally warm and like tingly feeling. James doesn't remember his head striking the windshield or the visor. He doesn't remember the airbag deploying, striking him in the face. But today, James is left dealing with the result of that accident. People always stare. I mean, I get used to it now. As a quadriplegic. There's just a lot of stuff that I wish I would have done before the accident actually happened. That I can't do now. In James's case, his attorneys argue the airbag should not have deployed. You can see it was a minor accident, causing only minor damage to the car. They also say his seatbelt failed to properly restrain him. That, combined with an overly aggressive, oversized airbag, snapped his head back. Because of the way that particular vehicle was designed, he was forced too close to that airbag before it deployed. And he was a, he's a quadriplegic today because of it. Airbag injuries are rare but sometimes deadly. Since 1990, 242 people have died because of airbags deploying in low severity crashes. The majority of those deaths have been children who are riding in the front seat. Yet the majority of airbag injury incidents don't result in death. They can cause these kind of injuries instead. Very commonly at our clinic we see injuries to the jaw because of the impact of the airbag, broken noses, um, black eyes. And Tazara Zeus dealt with all of the above after she swerved to avoid hitting another car earlier this year. Again, the accident itself wasn't serious. The front of her car went up on a curb, causing minor damage. But it was enough to trigger the airbag. The thought was, I am dead, because suddenly I couldn't hear or see anything. And then it was white. I could see white. And I thought, I'm blind. The impact of the airbag scratched the cornea of Entazar's right eye. She suffered a broken nose, a broken rib, and a torn ligament in her hand. When the hit airbag opened, it pulled this one back, so it pulled my hole. This one popped to the back. Now she goes to physical therapy twice a week. The vision in her right eye is still blurry, and she's left wondering why a seemingly harmless accident left her with these injuries. In my mind, I'm just so scared of those airbags, and I don't know, I'm sure they save lives in high speeds and highways or something like that, but I don't know how efficient they are in a situation like mine. James Facey's accident leaves him wondering what it would have been like to be in the Army. He had just signed up a few weeks before the accident and was waiting to find out where he would go for boot camp before learning instead he would never walk again. I feel like an old person, like an old man that can't do anything anymore. Now clearly airbags do save more lives than they harm compared to the 242 deaths we mentioned caused by airbags. The devices have saved nearly 15,000 lives. Still, there are ways that you can help avoid getting hurt by an airbag. In Entisar's case, the one in her car was actually defective though she never knew that until after the accident. Tonight, in part two of our report, we'll show you some simple things you can do to protect yourself and your family when it comes to the airbags in your car. Again, that's tonight at 11 on K2 Nightcast. One of the most important stories I feel I've ever done. I learned a lot just from doing it. Absolutely. We'll look forward to that information tonight at 11. Thank you.